my name is Stephen Smith and this is my home here in Knoxville where we are renovating an older house to make it super energy efficient. The, the goal here is to make this a net zero home where we produce as much energy as we use. Using the solar panels for both electricity and hot water and using a super efficient geothermal heat pump, we anticipate that we'll be able to get our energy use basically down to zero. Well, we started in air conditioning about 28 years ago and we wanted to get more green, have some green programs at our company and geothermal is a great way with the tax credits and things like that to save money on your heating and cooling costs uh, and plus have a system that lasts a lot longer than most other heat and air systems do. The basic premise of the geothermal system is that you're going to take advantage of the constant te temperatures of the earth down below the earth's surface because they stay constantly in the in the mid 50s to low 60s and then you're going to basically heat and cool your home using that constant temperature as opposed to the extremes that you experience outside. Uh, the first step is to get the piping in the ground, uh, whether it's a trench system or a vertical bore system. Uh, or sinking one in a lake for that matter. If you're on a lake, we can do that. Uh, and after that, loops are in the ground, we connect them to the unit, connect the duct work, um, flush it with a brine solution, uh, start the system up, uh, test it, make sure it's working properly, and I let the homeowner enjoy it. When you first put the system in, you're going to have to do some trenching and do some uh, digging down and drilling. But what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with the most energy efficient heating and cooling system that money can buy. You're also going to be able to see savings from anywhere from 50 to 70 percent on your heating and cooling bill. And so that little bit of tearing up the yard is going to be well worth the savings we're going to get. These pipes go down and loop back up. And what they'll do when they're hooked to the geothermal unit, they'll circulate a fluid that will basically allow the heat to exchange from the warmth of the coolness in our geothermal unit to the earth to get a stable temperature. So these pipes are a very key part of the system because they cycle the fluid down and take advantage of the constant temperatures down below. This is the old air conditioning unit, and we're going to completely get rid of this because the new geothermal unit will actually be the heat and the air all in one tight unit inside the house. This particular unit is a water furnace and vision unit. It is the most efficient unit that you can buy. The beauty of this unit is that for every one unit of energy you put in, electric energy, you're going to get five units of heat or cooling out. There's nothing like that on the market, so that's the power of geothermal. It is orders of magnitude more efficient than a standard heat pump or any other heating or cooling system you can get. So by taking advantage of that consistent temperature of the earth, you're going to get savings that you've never experienced with any other type of unit. The cost for the geothermal unit, this particular unit for our home, is a three-ton unit, will cost about $23,000. The federal government will give you a 30% investment tax credit, so that will reduce the price by a little over $7,000. The local utility actually has a low interest loan program that they'll let you pay back on your utility bill. So there's a way to defer that cost over time. We actually think the savings from this unit will actually pay for the unit uh, over the years that we have it. The biggest surprise is just realizing how comfortable a house can be um, over just a standard gas or heat pump system when they put in a geothermal. Uh, the comfort level has drastically changed, uh, you know, pulls a lot more moisture out of the house, just a lot more comfortable living area. Uh, and also how quiet they are. Uh, people that you know have had a unit outside their bedroom window for 20 years that heard it every night and all of a sudden it's gone. Uh, those are the two biggest things we see. Uh, and then of course the energy savings uh, when people's electric bills are cut in over half uh, just by simply changing out a unit is another thing too that people are amazed by. The geothermal unit is renewable in itself because we want to take advantage of that constant temperature that's in the earth, couple it with what we're doing with our solar panels and basically be able to use the earth and the sun to minimize our energy usage in our home and therefore both save ourselves money in the long run and protect the environment.